Welcome back guys, Sherry here. Now I have recently had some of you guys ask me where I get my hardy bass, so I'm going to show you. And if you will hit all of these spots that I'm going to show you, you should be able to collect around 60 hardy bass. Now I will typically do this after a blood moon. No, the blood moon is not going to make them respawn, but it will give them sufficient time to respawn. Now the first spot I go to is right here in East Nakluta. You'll see a little pond. Now I typically fish with shock arrows, but you can throw some bombs or just go swimming or whatever works best for you. But we'll find about five hardy bass here in this pond. But before we move on to the other spots, what do we actually need hardy bass for? Well guys, you're gonna need, I think around 15 of them to upgrade your Zora armor. Now, if you don't know where to get the Zora armor, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. But we can also cook them, and cooking one is gonna give you a full recovery with two extra temporary hearts. And you can cook up five of them, which is gonna give you a full recovery plus 10 extra hearts. But guys, hardy durian is so much easier to come by. If you're looking for those extra hearts, I would suggest you just cook up five hardy durian, and that's gonna give you 20 extra temporary hearts, or just cook up however many you need. So if it were me, I would just cook up the hardy bass one at a time, and this could come in real handy for you when you get to the Trials of the Sword. But enough about that, let's move on. So the next spot I go to, it's just a little west of the Thunder Plateau. Again, I use shock arrows, but we'll find about five hardy bass here. The next spot I like to go to is right here in the Farron region, right at the bottom of Kalora Lake, at the bottom of the waterfall. And you're gonna find about six hardy bass here. Now guys, I highly suggest that you take a picture of one of these and target them with your Sheikah Slate, because they're not all gonna be in the same area. You're going to find a few right here in front of the waterfall, and then there's a couple more a little bit over on the right-hand side. Okay, the next place I go to, we're still in the Farron region, but it's right here under the Flora Bridge. Now, guys, you're going to get about 12 or 14 hardy bass here. And if you're lucky, you might even get to see the dragon Pharos. Now guys, if you don't know how to farm the dragons, I'm gonna leave a link in the description and I'll show you how to farm all three dragons. But I will just build myself some ice blocks and then I'll just try to follow my sensor. But for the most part, guys, they're all right here where you see, I guess, these roots for these trees that go down in the water. They're all just kind of around in there. Okay, the last place I go to, now guys, this is like the mother load of hardy bass. I usually collect anywhere from 30 to 32 hardy bass when I do this. But we're gonna run into water octoroks. You're also gonna find some ducks and you're gonna find several different kinds of fish. So it's really just a great place to kind of go fishing, but it does take a while. So you really have to want some hardy bass. But if you will target a hardy bass with your Sheikah Slate and you will start at the top from the castle and go down both of these rivers, you will collect all kinds of hardy bass. They are a little spread out. I tried to mark them for you guys but I will collect anywhere from 30 to 32 hardy bass every time I do this. Now, sometimes I will swim downstream and catch them, or sometimes I'll just get out and run along the bank. And then sometimes I'll just build ice blocks, whatever works best for you. But if you'd like to see where to get hardy salmon, click here. And I hope this helps, guys. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, and I'll just catch you guys next time.